Hello everybody, welcome to Oscar Worthy Bucket. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and drop a like on this video. I am trying to hit 100k subscribers soon, so your subscription will be much appreciated. We should be around 10k away from that goal, so seriously, hit that subscribe button. Trying to not get my second silver plaque because I never got my first one, but uh, give me two channels to complain about the fact that YouTube has not given me my plaque instead of just one. Um, that being said, uh, today we are going to talk about something that happened like a week ago and I mentioned in my last video on this channel that I planned these videos a while ago and then I just, they, they took too long to get released because of my own laziness. Uh, this was a hot topic a couple of days ago when 2K released some My League news. Uh, they released, which by the way, I'm actually really excited about this news because I'm planning on doing a 2009 Cleveland Cavaliers throwback series for um, 2K23, like over on my 2K channel. Uh, and if that series goes well, I'll probably do a Kevin Garnett Timberwolves series. Don't know what year I would start with and that one in particular. But either way, uh, the point there being that I uh, am, I, I really like this actual my GM or my league stuff that was announced. But among that stuff was them basically dictating eras belonging to certain players. So um, the 2000s was labeled as Kobe's era from 2000 to 2010. I believe 2010 to 2020 was labeled as LeBron's era, which accurate. Uh, and before that, the 90s were Michael Jordan's era. And again, accurate. I think they might have labeled the 80s like Magic and Bird. Again, that would be accurate. Uh, no one really disputed those ones. But what came to be the argument was, were the 2000s Kobe Bryant's era? And the answer to that question is yes. And not really. Um... I am, Kobe, Kobe's my favorite player of all time, so if you want to use that to dismiss this take as entirely biased, you can go for it. Uh, I would understand why you would do that. But I do think I have a pretty level-headed and reasonable approach to this whole debate, and I haven't really seen much of that on either side of it, which is, is typical. Uh, I've seen so many people like, Kobe wasn't even a top three player of the 2000s, which is a fucking stupid take. And I've seen other people like, oh, he was clearly the best player because X, Y, and Z. And it's like, no, the NBA as it is now, where we're not really sure, there's no consensus on who the best player in the NBA is. That's the way the NBA was in the gap between Michael Jordan's retirement and LeBron like very clearly being the best player in the NBA, which I would say he probably did from 2009 onward. But uh, until then, uh, in that gap from 1998 when he retired to 2009 when LeBron had his 2009 LeBron season, it was like, okay, this might be the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. Um, and he's surely going to make a case for it by the time his career is done. Uh, that guy, um, in, in, in the period between that, it was kind of a revolving door. There was Tim Duncan, there was Kobe Bryant, there was probably a couple of years where LeBron had a very real case. Um, those are the m most noteworthy names, but like, if you could even argue, like, 2004, Kevin Garnett was probably the best player in the NBA that year. And uh, if you really want to grasp at straws, there are other years that you can point to. Also, early 2000s was Shaq, obviously. I don't think anyone would argue Allen Iverson in 2001, except for, like, I, I don't know. Most people would not argue something like that. Uh, either way, it was a revolving door. But I don't think it's necessarily just about simply being the best player throughout the whole decade. Because I don't think calling it Kobe's decade was indicative of him being the best player in the league every year. I don't know why that has to be the interpretation. I just think if we're remembering the 2000s, most NBA fans will remember the 2000s as Kobe's era. And regardless of if you think that's fair or not, if you think that means simply that guy like Tim Duncan was underappreciated or uh, left out of the spotlight in a way that he should have been, even if you feel that way, I think it is entirely fair to say the 2000s, simply just from 2000 to 2010, 
most known for Kobe Bryant. And it only makes sense being that he went to seven finals of the 10 that happened in that decade. He had his three-peat with Shaq, off year, goes to the 2004 finals, two more off, no, three more off years when he's in the middle of being, after he's, after, yes. Am I doing this math right? Is it three or two? Jesus Christ. Either way, Shaq's traded a couple of years of the Lakers being bad, but him putting up crazy numbers. Then they trade for Pau Gasol. They lose to the Celtics first year. Come back next year. Celtics aren't there because of Kevin Garnett's injury. They play the Magic. Then they play the Celtics again. And this time they get the Celtics back. So five championships in the era. Two finals appearances in which he lost. And... He was the face of the league. Whether or not you think he was the best player in the league, the, way, the, the what people were looking at, what media was looking at, every all eyes were on Kobe. Even when he was putting up buckets on a bad team, all eyes were on Kobe. And again, you can argue that's bias. You can argue that's you know L Lakers favoritism, Kobe favoritism, whatever you want to call it. Either way. If we're just looking at the 2000s as what is the most representative of the decade, which individual player stands out the most amongst the crowd in terms of the story and just what represents the era, it's not specifically just who the best player is. I think it's completely accurate to say that Kobe Bryant represents the 2000s era more than any other individual player. He's the most popular guy who had his peak at that time period, and he also did all of his winning and most of his accomplishments in that time period. We're talking about one of the greatest players of all time did most of his damage, had his peak right there and there were other players who year after year were consistently in the same conversation with him as a talent but there were very few in the same conversation in terms of popularity the only other guy who could compete with that, him in that regard really of the names i mentioned would be lebron uh maybe kind of Shaq, but i don't think so uh especially in hindsight like i actually think it's weird Th this is just a side tangent that I just thought of. It's kind of weird how Shaq is like as dominant as he was and as talented as he was and as likable as he is to some people. I actually find Shaq fairly unlikable, but there are a lot of people who claim that he is likable. Uh, for as many people like that as exist, uh, I don't understand how it, it seems like you'll never find anybody whose favorite player of all time is Shaq. I don't know what it is. Either way, uh, I think I've made my point uh, it's not just about who the best player is. And if you also think, like, in terms of impacting the game, in terms of, like, just being, like, the guy that people look up to, like, there are more players that look up to Kobe than maybe looked up to any player ever. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a generation of NBA players 10, 15 years from now who looked up to Steph Curry to the same extent that they do to Kobe. But... And really, this is more just about the popularity of the game spreading. But Kobe was the face of the league, and so many kids grew up and wanted to be him. I did too. I ended up just making YouTube videos about him. Other guys were in the finals getting compared to him, like Jason Tatum. But either way, um, 2K was just looking for a player to like reference as the player of the era. It doesn't mean they were necessarily saying Kobe was, like, the number one guy every single year. And as good as Tim Duncan was and as much as the Spurs' success was a factor in that era, uh, that shit was happening um, silently. And even if you want to make the argument that the championship is a factor, Kobe Bryant won five in that era, Tim Duncan won three. He won his other two in the 90s and 2014. So, doesn't even really win that one. I don't know why that had to be such a contentious thing. I don't know why everything about Kobe has to be so fucking contentious. I don't know why we have to act. Like, I don't know why, 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 is, why is the Kobe debate always like he's the, the best player of all time or he's not even top 15? Like, do, does, does anyone know what the word nuance is? I don't know. 
I don't really know how to end this video, so I guess that's my point. Stop being a fucking baby. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Bye.